be locked in as an Arsenal fan I want to take the league from a pep led city asijaribu kwenda before that we don't want excuses from man city fans Hashtag #football football fix this is the fuel that we will need yeah yeah for yeah. sure I, I i tend to agree with her we want to beat them when they are at their at their peak at the helm <laughs> knock them off their patch let's see Yeah, no, I was due, but it's due, you had to wait until Pep left. No, 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 no. We want to do it this season and we want to do it the best way. And that's why Arsenal need to make four signings. But I wanted to pick your mind. I wanted to pick uh, your mind on this. Um, There is company, there is Ateta, and there is Eric Tenag. Who do you think has the most pressure this season to win the league? And do you think they'll they'll stay if they don't win a trophy? Ah. Uh, Entity. Sasa hapo bana mento of god. Do you think of the active clubs if, if company no the pressure and ends. Um Ateta yes, he'll remain even if he doesn't win the league. So long as he doesn't finish outside the top four. In fact in fact outside the top two, If he finishes number three, a lot of pressure and a lot of question marks and you don't want that. So but I don't think happen. I actually think he's going for the league and he'll get it. Uh, for ETH, um, let me see. You have to give him time. Um, there's a new structure. Uh, I think that's why, despite the fact there's also not a better manager than uh, ETH market on paper, according to Man, Man United fans and uh, management, um, <laughs> the need is a structure in the yeah. club now. Yeah, there's so a structure. So ETH has to focus on the playing style and the playing unit. Yeah. Now, whether he gets it right is in question because first of all, you ha- it's the, the season starts with the signings and the pre-season. Yeah. So, what sort of players are Manchester United going to get for ETH? So far, um I don't think it's a uh, the players that have mm-hmm. are a huge revamp of some sort. I don't think they are they are way better than what they had. Uh, well, I made the argument that the version that we had of Rafael Varane last season, so if you replace him with a younger guy who's a really huge prospect and a guy that you expect is going to play for much of the season, meaning he's going to play on the field and like Rafael Varane was injured, that's a proper upgrade. The, it's, it's not really a proper upgrade it's until, proper until, upgrade until we will know whether it's a proper upgrade, upgrade until the end of the season. As of now, is I don't think it's a proper upgrade because I think he's only played 42 or 48 league matches so far in his career. So you're for, coming for, for Lille? Yes. I think it was 60. League all matches. In all, uh, I'm, league, I'm, okay. I'm talking about league, league matches. Yeah. yeah. So... Um, so he's coming from Lille to Manchester United. Yes. Um, that's a huge step. Yep. Um, uh, we've seen players who have come from Lille before coming to the league and they struggle. Pepe. Yeah, mm-hmm. being one of them. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's come with a huge price tag. Yeah. He's very young. He's come to a club with plenty of expectations. Mm-hmm. at the moment yes it's not the most opportune time for him to come if you if you're coming yeah because last man united had the worst season last year they did but but so, this is an opportunity for him to get into the team first of all because i believe he's a starter right now um, the space is there for him yeah the, the, and he's got, there is space for him if he works hard to earn that i right. think he, I, i think, think he, he, he needs, actually starts i i think he actually needs to earn the right to start not just because you've been brought in for this amount of money <laughs> yeah it's true but he had a brilliant season last yeah, year yeah i mean also for example maguire towards the end he 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 got better and got injured and didn't play yeah, for england but, yeah but he got better uh, arguably you can say that this is the best version of maguire that we've seen at man united yeah so he needs to come and earn that slot okay before you guys start saying that he needs to start he needs to earn it first He's a player for the future. He's not a player. I don't think he's a player that you bank y- your hopes on. He's but he's a player yeah, that yeah. You, you 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 have hope that he will come good in the future. Okay. So for for that I'm not too sure. For Zach Z, um he had a good season last season. Yeah. Um he was playing for Bologna. Yeah. Um he had a good coach, but now he's coming to Manchester United. There's a lot of ifs in that signing. Oh, All right. Yeah. Why? Um Why? it's one season that was, re- was that, that was really good. Mm-hmm. So um, is he a one- that Bayern though? 
I wouldn't say sparkle if you, because if you sparkle in, in then, a a season then, and then, then got then, a move. Yeah, because if you sparkle at Bayern then Bayern won't let you go. The top teams don't let their best players go. Oh, if you're oh, a good player, just know this, Sami. If you're a top player in a, in a top team, they won't let you go. Get me. If if they let you go, they've seen something that they know this can't work for us in the future. So that, that's why I have question marks because Manchester United is trying to work themselves back into that top elite level. So can they do that with the kind of players that they're getting? Do they have the right mentality? Will will know maybe half season okay. or towards the end of the season. I'm not too convinced though. I understand. I, I understand your your hesitance on that. Uh, but at the same time, uh, with the question of can you trust these young players to be your hope for for a season? I think looking back at the season we had and how it culminated in the winning the FA Cup, I think you're looking at some imprints of the young players who came into the team and they actually provided uh, hope for Manchester United fans. So if these are the young players are coming into the team and I believe they still got a huge ceiling, mm-hmm. then that should actually paint a positive picture for that. And for for Josh Zaxi, yes, there is a question of does he start? Does he start alongside Highland? I think the version that we saw with him at Bayern, of which I, I I saw a glimpse of him, I think it's more improved right now, and it actually fits the style of play that Manchester United want to play. So, pretty much confident that they slot into the team and there's harmony there. All right, let, now let's go to important matters. Let's talk about Arsenal. So I was saying, can you even mention our signings though? <laughs> No, we'll get there because we were talking about um, the, the pressures the, on of the four, of the the four, managers. What I think Arsenal needs to 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 get. Then Teddy yeah. de- made us deviate Kidogo, but it's okay. It was a good conversation though. So for I think Arsenal need to get four four signings. Wow. One we have already gotten Calafiori, wonderful defender. He had uh, more tackles and interceptions last season than Ben White, Saliba, and Magali. So that's good for me. He played well in the Euro. He was defending a lot. <laughs> he was defending a lot. I don't think he was defending a lot considering how Thiago Mota plays. At Bologna? Yeah, I don't, I don't think he was defending a lot. Okay, but they're not the big hitters in the Serie A that you'd expect that they have that kind of dominance that you saw with Arsenal. Yeah, okay, they're, they're not. Yeah, they're not for yeah, sure. Yeah. So he, he, he fits the profile of, of players that Arteta has been buying. Yeah, all along. <laughs> that status to decorate Calafiori. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so that that's good. Yeah. So we need three more si- signings. I think we need the number eight. Um, Rice. Uh, there's this debate whether he's a six or an eight. Yeah. Which position does he play better? Yeah. I think on the left side, half eight. I think he plays better there because he can. He has those drives yeah the runs. yeah so we can capitalize on that and yeah. of course if we lose the ball uh, uh upfield then we can start defending from where we've lost it quite easily and regain possession then i think i know not i think we need the striker there are certain games like break down opposition's defense and to put in the box the ball in and Defenders were just clearing the ball. So I think we need a striker. A striker who can get us 15 goals, he's, and, but he's lanky. Because when it comes to goals, our goals are well distributed. We need a striker who, when the going gets tough, he's there to become. You need an out-and-out nine, a poacher, someone who can do something out of nothing. Yes. A, a full, a Tony. Benjamin Sesco was the guy. But we've lost him. Why, why is it? I'm, I'm listening to you and I kind of feel like you're losing confidence in a player that you really had so much confidence in last season. No, no, no. It's just trying to add dynamism to the squad. But if at all you're going to get one that, that means the player you... The thing is, the is, thing is, I, 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 I love Havertz, yeah? all right? Yes. But, but he has his shortcomings. We saw it in the Euros. Yeah. He's not a clinical striker. Yes. Now, when last season, there were certain games where had we finish the chances we got, maybe we would have won the league. A good example is when Trossard missed his chance against Aston Villa at the Emirates. Yes, remember Score that, that the first then half. we have the upper hand. Yes. All right? Yeah. Then we don't have pressure in the second half and all that. So if we have a striker, because Aston Villa were very com- compact and they shut out any space 
they were defending five at the back and the gap between the midfield and the, and the defense was very narrow so either you put in the ball into the box then the striker heads it in or you just play, play quick transition football of which Arsenal really struggled last season but I think if you can get a striker who can quickly transit from box to box from our half to the opponent's box quickly like Haaland does then I think we'll be good to go and then uh, those are four yeah. three those are three yeah those are three so far. And, and a winger and I said it, yeah a winger we need a winger a replacement for Saka no not a replacement uh-huh. <clears throat> a challenger a challenger for Saka. Yeah, he can. Saka. Who can play either right or left? And that, the only person who, who comes to mind is uh, Nico. Okay, so so Nico that Williams. also brings to the question that you've got a guy that can play in that position and can drift, like Emil Smith Rowe, but you're letting him leave. Yeah, because Emil Smith Rowe, we've we've waited to see the real Emil Smith Rowe that we saw three years ago, and we haven't seen him. But he's been injured, so he's not had that opportunity to do it. Yeah, but four starts I, since I, I guess twenty twenty two. Look. The players that Ateta has sold, uh, some of them we have not agreed. All right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But in hindsight, he made the right call. Okay. Why, what right. do you... Yeah. Balogun left. Yeah. I think we are, we are okay with that. Yeah. I think um, Emil smith leaving... Okay, Grandi Shaka, I'm not sure. We're not... <laughs> we're not <laughs> he didn't let him go. He didn't sell him. He, j- he just refused to renew the... Uh, sign a new contract. But... For Emil Smith Rowe, I'm way, we've way, really waited yeah. to see Emil Smith Rowe take his game to the next level. Mm-hmm. And I think Ateta has seen that it's not going to happen anytime soon. So let's just capitalize on selling him now and then reinvest that money in another player. And Eddie Nketiah, I think it's a no-brainer. Yeah. He, we just need to sell him. Yes. He's, a, he's an okay player. He's yeah. not a bad player. He's an okay player. But where we are going, hey, we need top A level players. A level players. So those four, if we get, um, I think for the striker, uh, Ivan Tony. I, 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 it's not my number one pick, but Ivan Tony. Who's your number one pick? Of, Sesco. It, was, it was Sesco, yeah. Okay. So I think Ivan, Tan, Ivan Tony is not too bad. Yeah. And then uh, uh, Nico Williams. Calafiori is already Ooh. locked in. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to challenge Okay, CD. that's an ideal world. I don't think it's going to happen. It, it's just because Barca are trying to manipulate the young man. But the young yes. man I know wants to come to us. Yeah. He's <laughs> 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 not, never going to win the league anytime soon at Barcelona. That's but you know the pride the that comes to play for Barcelona. Yeah, well, it's a Spanish kid. Why would the Barca come to Barca? We we'll pay him more. Yeah, no, th- that's not the point. Why should I come to Arsenal uh, and come on as a, from the bench when I can come on to Barcelona and be a starter? Now here's the thing, eh? Um, next season potentially we would have like sixty games. I don't think Martinelli will start if Nico comes. Nah. And of course, I don't think Saka will play all the games. But Barcelona still so, got the chance. So, 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 yeah, so, if I'm so you'll the option, I, If I'm given the option personally, this, this, I'd go for this, Barcelona. This sorry. Barca is only there. It's only top by name. Yeah, it's, okay, it's only a big team by name, but not by the team and the squad. But currently. then now, yeah, but you have the chance to get in there and change the dynamics. Because if you look ah, at your neighbor, and you're playing the same. It you're playing almost the same number of games. So, yeah. so if you don't get Nico, yeah. then Rafinha. What? Yeah, Rafinha is a squad player. But we're not come going for a starter, <laughs> starter. Wow. So that means Martinelli. From the heights be, of Nico. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I mean, yeah, wow. Because, because, because what we're looking for, we're looking wow. for somebody to to aid Saka. All right, Saka can't play all the games. Nice. Cindyo, now and Rafinha, we wanted him before, so he fits the profile of player that we want. And Martinelli. Now, the the, the, the downside to that is yeah. that Martinelli is going to start on yeah. a regular basis. Yeah. But if Nico came to Arsenal, then I think it would be Nico and Saka on the wings, then Martinelli would be the option B. And in some games, it would be Martinelli and uh, Nico on the right. Mm. You, you if I'm a player, I wouldn't come to Arsenal on the option of if, but, and uh, what will happen. I'd come to uh, Arsenal knowing that I'm going to start. Yeah, you because come and yes. fight for your place. No, it's come and earn your the right to start. Yes, We're not going to give you to. Yes, of course, that's, that's, of course, that's um, uh, obvious, but I have to be assured by the coach that I'm going to start. But then again, I have to analyze the team as well. Do I really think I'm going to start in this uh, starting eleven? You look at the, the attackers because I'm sure 
I'm not going to start before uh, ahead of Saka. He can in some uh, games. Yeah. In some but games how many can. times? We all know that when Saka is fit, you're not going to put anyone ahead of him. Um, He's not going to play as a nine. He's not a nine. He's a winger. Then the, that means the only option is on the Martinelli side. And when you look at Martinelli, he... He gives out. He gives you uh, most of the times seven out of ten. So, why should I come uh, on the uh, hope of maybe I might be in the? Yeah, because you're gonna pay you well. You're gonna potentially win the EPL. You're gonna play Champions <laughs> League football, and you're coming to play for Arsenal at a very good time. It's good football. 